Rahim. So that was always a reminder for myself that if you truly understood this path, it's not what you think. This way is based on reflection. That if you're looking for Allah He directs you to Sayyidina Muhammad You feel me there? You see me there? You understand this rahmah and this mercy? Because as soon as you begin to love the reality of Prophet and I want my heart to be connected with you, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, visualize yourself always at Rosa Sharif that I'm not leaving, I'm not going anywhere, my hand grabbing onto this gate until your nazar fall upon me, your rahmah fall upon me. And then when they have that immense love, Immediately Allah begin when it's sincere and granted begins to send His love into their heart. They fall deeper in love with Allah by connecting to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because it was a, it was like a, I can't say ballet, it was an exchange of understanding. Allah wants to know if you're really sincere, do you see my signs? And the greatest sign in creation, not the trees, the ocean, the birds and the bees. The greatest sign is Sayyidina Muhammad So when they approached with that love, they were lost in that love. And they started to say, Ya Rasul Kareem, that the generosity and the bounty of your rahmah, that with all my guna, all my sins, all my badness, Allah knows all those and your mercy just flows upon me with no account, no question. All we had to do was just direct ourselves to that love and it began to flow, flow. And the love for Allah became stronger because what is in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the lights of Allah's Divine Lights. It is the lights of Holy Qur'an. Means it begins to flow into the heart until Allah's Qulini kuntum tuhibun Allah wa yuhibukum. At that moment when they Lord and they connected their heart with Sayyidina Muhammad immediately Allah's Divine Love began to dress them. And they lost themselves and their tafakkur, their meditation, their whole way, they spend at night crying in that connection, immensely drowning in Allah's immense love and immense blessings. And Allah begin to teach, I'm approaching you, approaching me with your intention, with your love and your reality is dressing me. This becomes reflective. If you're looking for Allah He directs you to Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why Allah says, if you're bad with the Rasul then I'm going to declare war upon you. Allah is actually telling you that if you didn't see me there and you want to do something bad, I'm definitely going to be avenging you because you really came against the Muslims. If you directly go to Allah, you think you're jahari, doesn't know, you doesn't know what you're doing anyways. But those who came against Sayyidina Muhammad is it's as if they were fighting Allah
welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties, including all your financing needs. We are one-stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. reflective reality. I don't think people out there get it. So then Prophet is coming and teaching, I'm also inheriting that, that Imam Hussain is from me. It says also the same saying of Sayyidina Ali Salaam, that Imam Ali Salaam is from me. They are coming from my light, from my light Allah made them. Do you see me there? Do you feel me there? So then who were those who were fighting them and trying to kill them? They were fighting and trying to kill the light of Satan Muhammad That's the extent of how bad the Qur'an is. Their light didn't come from anywhere, they came from the ocean of Sayyidina Muhammad so much that Prophet wanted it clarified that they are from my light. If you love them, kind to them, Allah will love you because in actuality He represented the Nur Muhammad so profound, so beautific, so powerful that the people couldn't take it. They were jealous of the reality of Imam al Hussein. Says, as long as you're on this earth, they won't listen to us as the Khalifas, take bayah to us, they won't follow us. So, we must kill you from the earth, astaghfirullah, so the people will follow us. Extinguish the light of somebody to try to raise your light. How many people are doing that on this earth now? The easiest way you think to grow in spirituality is to destroy the light of other people, to make yourself like your light is shining more. And what Prophet was warning for us is that, didn't you see my light in Imam Hussain What gave the chivalry and the ability to walk into the faith, walk into death, walk into every type of difficulty was Nur Muhammad What no Prophet could accomplish Sayyidina Muhammad's light in Imam Hussain's reality walked right into that difficulty. In the presence of all those whom they called Azan, they prayed their Zohar, they prayed the Asr and then decided to kill the Holy Family. They didn't know who they were fighting 
and they kept warning them that you're calling the azan and you're praying, do you know who our grandfather was? Means are amongst any of you Ahlul Basira that you see that Nur Muhammad is in, entirely in this camp, is all the ruhaniyat of Prophet in that camp and Allah describes their event, although you wish to extinguish the light of faith, you can never extinguish it. Everybody has a Yazid inside of them because this game is only about Allah and shaitan. Either you're with Allah or you're with shaitan. And those whom are with Allah means they have this Nur Muhammad and you're supposed to nourish it, bless it and bring it out. You're not supposed to lend yourself to Yazid and shaitan. Because all that Yazid wants to do is kill the light of Prophet There's no need for salawat, no need for good manners, no need for ihtiram, no need for Mawlid the Nabi Oh because this is your Yazid. If you let your Yazid to grow it will fight them. It began to fight these awliyaullah, it began to curse at them, began to speak bad to them. Because you're allowing the Yazid to come and attack and that's why Prophet is describing that he's from my light and more so I'm going to teach you a secret that I'm from his light. So all the 12 Imams are from the lineage and the light of Imam and Hussain So it means after Imam and Hussain came Imam Sajjad. Imam Zain al Abidin, that's the one whom Allah described as describe as, as they want to extinguish and kill this light of reality. He preserved it like Nabi Musa. They came and they killed all the men who would be the source of bringing these Ahlul Bayt. But Allah spared Sayyidina Sajjad, Imam Zain al Abidin, like He spared Nabi Musa. They came into their heart to leave him alone, he's young. Through that light then all the rest of these Imams coming to the light of who? What power Allah was putting in their lights and what Prophet was bringing as a sharat and that I'm from them. Not only Allah took my light to make Imam Hussain my power will go through all of their lights until the last one that appears will be the most powerful Imam on this earth. ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Nas Window Blinds offers high quality custom window coverings for both residential and commercial projects. We offer a stunning range of colors and design options. We also provide an on-site measurement and style consultation so that you can be sure you're getting the very best option for your windows. Let us enrich the look, feel and value of your space with custom window coverings. Call Nas Blinds today. No 
awliya can even be under the foot of Sayyidina Mahdi And that's when Prophet described and I'm from that light. That light that coming beyond Warath al-Muhammadiyyah but the most perfected Muhammadan light on this earth as if a, a complete reflection of Prophet will be appearing. At that time who will be there? Only Ahlul Basira. Those who are not Ahlul Basira the earth will have already taken them and with their soul they'll witness with the full witnessing. That's why all calamities are coming in the end days. What you couldn't achieve with your body and Allah wrote it for you that reality, they take your body out of the way. And you'll be standing there with your soul witnessing what Allah wanted you to witness. You can be as stubborn as you want and I'm not going to listen, I'm not going to follow, no problem they take your body out of the way and your soul will achieve what Allah wrote it to achieve. But at that time anybody with a body in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi they're Ahlul Basira because they've been so purified by the calamities that are coming onto this earth that their hearts cease. When they see they will witness their Lord with their eyes and they'll understand who's standing in the presence of. And that's why Sayyidina Isa salam stood back it was a Jummah and they offered for Sayyidina Isa to pray and he said, no, 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 I see who's leading this prayer. I came to be under his nation, not to be the Imam. Means there's no Risalat in the presence of that light, there's no sainthood in the presence of that light, everything is in nothingness. So then our whole life is about that reality. When Prophet is describing, I'm in his light. So then how do you disrespect that light? Then you're no, no different than these Yazids. Our life was the ihtiram and the respect of Nur Muhammadi Nur al-Anwar was Sirat al-Asrar and we took a path in which is love and adab. No matter how difficult, how bad, whatever the characteristics, we never come against the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Better to stay quiet and let somebody hit you with their sword than to come against this light of Sayyidina Muhammad This was the way of love and respect in their heart they understood, this is that light. They didn't see the light and they slaughtered the entire family of Sayyidina Muhammad For those whom contemplating, contemplate. So the light that these people carry, these awliya on earth carry, the light of these souls that are coming upon this earth and upon this earth waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi they are the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah says, فِيكُمْ These lights are all around you, based on those lights ni'mat comes, rain comes, barakah comes, rizq comes. So when that Nur Muhammadi appears within these awliya, Allah describing, I will not bring calamity while you are amongst them. While that light is amongst you and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is amongst you. So this is the way in which we protect ourselves. Be polite and respectful to that light, build that love in your heart that should be the source of all protection it pushes away. Because when that Nur Muhammadi comes Allah moves away qada, moves away anger and punishment. As soon as you do something bad to that light as if you're asking for Allah to bring difficulty upon. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding. This way is only based on love and good manners. Our love brought us to their threshold, the good manners will open into their presence. With that good manners if it dresses the heart, blesses the heart, blesses the soul, 
everything is taken care of. All the maqams of all the realities they describe of all the Prophets, it's in one drop of Imam Husayn's tear. So others say, oh this is a cheerful day, let's celebrate like this, celebrate like that. But those from a higher reality that understood, no, 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 keep your focus on Imam Husayn For if he should intercede on your case and say that, you came together for me, you came to show your love for me, you cried for me and what I went through with my family, I'm going to cry for you now in Allah's presence. With one tear from Imam Husayn it will wash away every difficulty, every harshness. If he should take the case to intercede, every haqqaiq and every reality will open into the heart. And these are the abundant flowing realities from the heart of Imam al Husayn We pray that Allah always inspires to go towards all these fountains of rahmah, to drink from them, wash from them, to bathe within that reality and that Allah by means of that love take away difficulty from us. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy. We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives. For more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com.